Hello and welcome back to series VMware 101 and uh, this video is based on the request a guy who sent me a message on the comment box uh, that he wanted to understand the approach for vCenter and vSphere upgrade so let's get started um, so every company they have VMware infrastructure and uh, they have ESXi's um, they have virtual machines running on it, and they also have DV Center to manage the environment. Uh, but few of the companies, or, or most of them, are also having additional components that use uh, the vSphere environment as a base infrastructure, and on top of it, they might be having a, another component called uh, Cyclically Manager uh, SRM, or uh, they have NSX for network virtualization or advanced level networking. A uh, few of the company is having the VR ops and uh, we realize network infrastructure called Verni, right? So all these components require a vSphere environment. So in vSphere environment, we will be having a posts where ESXi is installed right and on top of it we will be having the management plane which is called vCenter vCenter server so any any version we are talking about the overall approach uh, how we upgrade this entire environment where we have this some of additional components as well. So we have ESX. And a number of it. And it's not depend on the numbers. Um, and we, these are the VMs which are running on the ESXi host and handling the workload for your servers and applications right so we wanted to perform the upgrade activity vSphere and environment so when we are upgrading the vSphere environment we need to think all these infrastructure all these uh, appliances as well as the vCenter server, ESXi host and the virtual machines because the upgrade is going to affect uh, some part of infrastructure from every component. So, uh, so whenever we do any upgrade or, or installation of any vSphere product, um, we need to do the validation with vSphere interoperability check. So what is interoperability check? That means if you have vSphere, vCenter server 5.5 and ESXi on 5.5 and VMs which are running a hardware version, just assume they are on, on 8 or 9. Okay? Uh, so these are compatible hardware for virtual machines to ESXi and vCenter. Uh, on top of it, uh, just assume you have NSX as well. Okay? You have a component for NSX and uh, you wanted to do the upgrade but here uh, you have NSX version uh, 6.x just as you so when you do the recent upgrade you need to make sure that NSX version what we are using is compatible with the version which you are going to go and do the upgrade so if you want to go for just assume you wanted to go for 6.5 or uh, from 6.5 if you want to go to 7.x or 6.5 to 6.7 or 7.0 so this upgrade activity will affect because um, 
if you go from 5.5 .5 to 6.5 and if your NSX is not compatible, uh, your network will collapse and virtual machine will lose the network connectivity. Um, if you have a new hardware which incoming, which this is your vendor has provided to you and that comes with 6.5 ESXi and if you have reset the server is on 5.5 that is not supported model so when you do this upgrade activity how you approach so you start with the management uh, server reset the server first okay every time we plan the upgrade activity we we plan the upgrade with the recent server upgrade okay so we make sure when we do the upgrade from 5.5 to 6.5 we check whether NSX or SRM site recovery manager server is compatible with the version is what we are using. So if just assume you have SRM version 5 and uh, that is not compatible with 6.5 so you need to think that while, up, uh, while upgrading the vCenter you also perform the upgrade activity for SRM and go from 5 to 6 or 6.5 or whatever version which is supportable as per the whisper interoperability matrix okay so how you do first every time when you do the vSphere upgrade uh, we start with vCenter server okay we bring the vCenter server to the appropriate level for example in this project we are going to go and we just have NSX and SRM just as you and uh, which NSX version what we are using it's just assume it's 6.3 6.3.x and uh, that is compatible with 5.5 and 6.5 so we will do the recent upgrade that won't require any downtime uh, only the restart will require but there won't be any downtime for virtual machines or ESXi host so your business will be uh, running as is so you do the recent server upgrade from 5.5 to 6.5 okay once that is upgrade you have two options okay uh, we can talk we can have a dedicated video on upgrade part but uh, we are just talking about the approach we will not go in detail that how we upgrade uh, so we will go from 5.5 to 6.5 okay as ESXi is still on 5.5 ESXi host are always uh, or vCenter server is always backward compatibility mode that means vCenter server always support the older version of ESXi host so a couple of versions behind even if you have the vCenter server 6.5 and ESXi 5 or 5.5 that will still work but sometimes like you cannot have ESXi 4.0 so for that you check the interoperability matrix in detail but I'll post the link, uh, post the link for interoperability matrix and uh, from there you can get that so ESXi will be on 5.5 okay how you do the ESXi upgrade once your vCenter is upgraded uh, so most of the environment um, okay before ESXi um, yeah, as we say we have SRM and NSX as well right so SRM is the management piece for the replication or, or uh, disaster recovery so first we can go for SRM as our we assume NSX version is compatible with the recent server, uh, but SRM was not compatible, so we upgrade SRM and we make it compatible. Uh, but SRM also have their own um, requirement that you need to um, make sure that site is connected, both the sites are connected. You upgrade the uh, production SRM server. Uh, you pro upgrade production vCenter server first, then the DR vCenter server, then you upgrade the production SRM server and the DR SRM server, and you also perform the site pairing if site pairing breaks so these are the steps for SRM server upgrade I think I had created a video for specifically for the SRM upgrade if not I'll create one more uh, so once then you will install the SRM server mm -hmm. as we have SRM in the environment then we will be having the DR site uh, on the vCenter server needs to be upgraded before we perform the SRM server upgrade activity then we do the NSX NSX upgrade. The NSX itself has its own upgrade task and own components. Uh, in short, I will just say that also the NSX we need to upgrade the manager, then controller, and then manager controller, and then you, you, we do the edge VM upgrade activity. Okay, and uh, 
Once that is done, we will perform uh, the ESX cycles to VIPs or the ESXi model update. Because NSX install the VIPs, which are nothing but the software which helps NSX to communicate with ESXi better. Um, that will be done. Then once NSX is done, installed, we can upgrade. And this is the optional as our NSX is compatible. So we can keep it this, this task as optional. Because anyhow, we're going to go and upgrade the SXI host. And that time also, it's going to install the new VIPs. NSX finally will install the new VIPs. So now we have the next task, uh, upgrading ESXi host. We'll upgrade the ESXi host. So when we do the upgrade of ESXi host, just assume we have these two clusters. It's oversimplified diagram. Uh, this is cluster one or cluster A, and this is cluster B. So, and uh, they are configured with DRS and HA. So whenever we perform the uh, when we perform any, any kind of upgrade activity on ESXi host, we put it under maintenance mode. Okay, I put it under maintenance mode so that these VMs will be motioned to the another ESXi host in the cluster. Of course, there will be uh, more host in your production. So this host will become empty and then you perform the upgrade activity. Once the upgrade completes, you take it out of maintenance and then again the VMs will come back to this its own original host as per the load balancing or as per the DRS recommendation. Once that is done, then the fifth stage is the upgrade the virtual machine hardware and the VMware tools. VMware always recommend to upgrade the virtual machine hardware and the tools uh, because uh, with latest hardware or virtual machine hardware, you get the latest feature and the compatibility or the uh, capacity expansions. And the latest tool, the ESXi controllers gets the uh, better APIs and handshake or communication channel between the ESXi host and the virtual machine's operating system. So that's the last task. You do the VM hardware and, and, and tools. Once that is done, your, your project will be will be complete and you should be able to do that do this activity with minimal downtime or no downtime like here in these steps only the downtime was required for virtual machine migration and if you are um, if you have properly implemented DRS and HA this uh, HA is also not needed but DRS is implemented so VM should be migrated to another host so without any application downtime this activity or upgrade activity can be completed so this was the overall approach or overall steps, high level uh, project planning for the VSphere upgrade plan. And uh, if you have any questions, put that in comments. I'll try to answer or you can reach out to me on LinkedIn. I hope you must have liked this video and you uh, learned something out of it. I would request to like, subscribe and share my channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you in another video. Bye-bye.